reversal by Prigioni, saving it to Smith. Shot clock reset, Smith inside! Hello Knicks fans and thank you for watching Knicks Bros TV. This is another session of Knicks Couch Report. Um, today in this session we'll talk about the pre-game, uh, preseason game last night that the Knicks played against the Celtics. Um, as it was their second preseason game, um, the players look much more comfortable in the system. Uh, we saw better ball movement from everybody. Um, we saw uh, better shots that was taken. Uh, players are actually making the shots. Uh, the shot selection was much better. Uh, the ball movement side to side, in and out. Uh, it was uh, much more impressive than it was, uh, you know, a couple of couple of days ago that we played the Celtics, and which is very encouraging. That's what you look for uh, in a. Um, you know, in a, in a new system, and you look for that progression. You look that the players uh, become better every game as it goes on. And last night, it was a sign that they are actually getting the system and they are getting better. I think it made a difference that Iman Shumpert was available last night. As we know, he is one of our best defensive players on the team. And it kind of showed, uh, you know, uh, last night how uh, valuable he is to the team. The one uh, weak point I kind of noticed uh, was Amari Stoudemire. He kind of looked lost, you know, on the court. Defensively and offensively, he just, uh, he was lost. He didn't know what to do. Uh, he missed quite a few defensive assignments. Offensively, he was just uh, you know dribbling the ball and couldn't actually make it make a pass. Uh, couldn't drive to the basket. So I mean, it it might it might have been just one bad night, but uh, you know just from last night's uh, um, you know watching the game last night, it, it it wasn't a good sign for him. Hopefully, like I said, it's a uh, it's just a bad night for him, and he comes back the next game strong because, you know, I personally like him and I like him to succeed, especially this year that he's healthy. I mean, if he stays healthy, he he can be a great asset to us this year. So we need him to uh, grasp the uh, triangle offense and thrive in it. Uh, we didn't see Bar uh, Barniani last night, uh, you know, he's kind of dealing with a, a little bit of sore hamstring. I uh, haven't seen Jason Smith yet, I'm really interested to see him play, um, you know, see, see how he is. Uh, Dallenberg was very impressive last night, man, he just took quite a few, uh, I think two or three blocks last night. Defensively he was good, offensively he made a couple of shots. Um, very impressive. You very impressed with him. Very impressed with Calderon. I mean, I wouldn't expect anything else from him. You know, uh, a vet uh, point guard. He knows how to shoot. He knows how to distribute the ball. Uh, very um, impressed with him. Melo, I was impressed with him too. He made a couple of great passes. He uh, moved the ball and he made shots with when he really counted. And uh, he, so uh, it, w it was great to see that. Uh, JR contributed uh, 14 points, a uh, couple of uh, you know, nice three-pointers to, to widen the, uh, the lead for us. Um, the only one thing I saw from JR was he still was dribbling too much. You know? He still needs to get the ball out in that second or second and a half that, that you really, if there is nothing for you, you got you to gotta, you know, pass the ball and let the ball go around. So he needs to work on that. Um, our, our young um, our young guns uh, like um, Hardaway Jr. was good. Uh, our new player, our rookie player, early was really good. I was impressed with his shots. Um, uh, defensively, he still needs to work on it, uh, even offensively. But for a rookie, it was it was very good to see him. Shane Larkin, you know, uh, dribble penetration, pretty fast. You know, um, he's okay. You know, I think he's going to get better under Derek Fisher. And then um, Ware. You know, I'm, I'm very impressed with Ware. You know, I think uh, 
I think he, if he makes the team, he can thrive in the triangle offense because he's got a really nice, uh, smooth jump shot. So, um, so I think uh, you know if he makes it, he, he can be good. Um, beside that, um, one one other thing that improved from game before was the turnovers. We didn't have as many turnovers as we did like last time. I think last time we had like 28 turnovers or something like that. Um, this time was was much much better. Uh, we kind of controlled the tempo on the game. Uh, we pushed the ball. Um, it was great to see a couple of uh, design plays right after the timeouts. Uh, so it kind of tells you what Derek Fisher is about, and I was impressed with that. Uh, beside that, um, you know, everything on the next front looks good. You know, I'm looking forward to the next game. I think it's against Toronto. I want to see more um, improvement. Uh, I want to see Jason Smith play. I want to see Bargnani play a little bit more. Um, I want to see that, that starting lineup come together, you know. Uh, I don't know who's going to be in it, but, I mean, Derek Fisher hasn't revealed it yet. But it will be very interesting to see if by the last two games or three games of the preseason, he actually going to use that starting lineup that he will be using uh, during the regular season. Um, so, well, like I said, uh, players were good. One player that I forgot to mention was AC. Um, you know what? AC is not a big shot maker, even though last night he made a couple of, couple of shots, which is very odd. But he's a hustle player. You know, he, he fights for those rebounds. He, he fights for the ball. It's good to have a hard-nosed player like him on the bench. Um, like I said, this is uh, it's not you know set in stone that he's going to make the team. You know, we'll see who will make the team and who will not. Uh, but, you know, as far as we know, there are certain players that are guaranteed to be on the team just because their salary is up there, like Barmiani and uh, Amari and uh, Jarrah Smith and Shumpert and all that, um, Melo and Calderon. So, but like I said, there's, there's no uh, starting lineup yet. Interesting to know who's going to start, who's going to come off the bench, uh, you know, and, and who will make the team. After all, you know, after the second game, like I said, I'm very encouraged. The first game wasn't that good, second game better. So you're looking for a better game on a third uh, preseason game. So with that said, thank you for watching Knicks Bros TV. Uh, please subscribe for more videos on the Knicks. We'll have videos on the Giants after each game on the Jets. Uh, baseball season starts, we'll have some baseball for you guys. Uh, like uh, and uh, please subscribe, like, comment. You know, uh, write us your comments so we can we can have a discussion and see what you guys as fans thinks about uh, the New York teams, about the Knicks, about the Giants, about the Jets that are struggling right now. Um, again, thank you for watching. Subscribe, comment, like. Check us on our Facebook, www.facebook.com. Uh, forward slash Nick's Bros TV and uh, thank you again and we'll see you on our next video. Go Nick's in the whole lot the loot just still singing oh I'm fat bro and that people bro go far away And all the barrel ass niggas that I hustle with. What? Throw your joints in the air one time and bust your shit.